I am so glad to see everybody here this afternoon for the hymn sing. When you think about hymns, and as we were growing up and in church every Sunday and, and singing those hymns, it seemed like that was something that just uh, we had in common with everybody around us, other, other believers. You, uh, I remember as a child, seven or eight years old, we took a trip out west and ended up in a place called Custer, South Dakota. And we were at a campground, and it was a Sunday. And mom and dad said, we're going to church. And so we went to this interdenominational type chapel that was at the campground. And I remember singing some of the same hymns that we would sing back home. And of course, we had a beautiful view of the mountains there. But it seems like that was a uh, something that just really uh, connected us all in a, in, a, in a way like that, so that no matter where you went, you were always singing those great hymns. And so we want to celebrate that tonight, give you an opportunity to sing along. I know that many of you are joining us online, and so we want to welcome you to this time. And just uh, the opportunity we have to sing and celebrate and share these hymns of our faith together. I'm going to have a word of prayer, and then we're going to uh, have uh, Pastor Carlos come and lead us in some hymns. Because of the virus, we're not able to use our hymn books this year, so I apologize for that, but we will have the words up on the screen for you, okay? Let's pray. Father, we thank you that uh, you give us songs to sing, uh, songs to lift high your praise and your name, and you said that... Uh, where two or more are gathered in your name, you're in, in the midst. And so we invite you into this place tonight and ask that you would speak to our hearts, encourage us, uh, take us back to uh, perhaps our younger days as we sing and share these great hymns of our faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. next song that we're going to sing is At Calvary. Yeah. 
matter daily I'm constrained to be and let thy grace Lord like a fetter bind my wandering heart to thee prone to wonder Lord I feel it prone to leave the God I love here's my heart Lord take and see businessman in Chicago in the 1860s, where he lived with his wife Anna and their five children. He had invested heavily in real estate along the shores of Lake Michigan. He was a prosperous man and a devout Christian. However, in 1870, a series of events began to turn Horatio's world upside down. That year, Horatio and Anna's only son died of scarlet fever at the tender age of only four. A year later, while the Spaffords were still grieving the loss of their son, the Great Chicago Fire broke out and destroyed nearly every one of Horatio's investments. His entire life savings was gone. Aware of the toll these disasters had taken on his family, Horatio decided to take his wife and four daughters on a holiday to England, where they planned to accompany the famous evangelist D.L. Moody on his next crusade. However, just before they set sail, a last-minute business development forced Horatio to delay. Not wanting to ruin the family holiday, he persuaded his family to go on as planned, and he would follow along later. With this decided, Horatio stayed in Chicago while Anna and the girls boarded the French steamship Ville du Havre to set sail for England. But several days later, Horatio received devastating news. The Ville du Havre had been struck by an iron sailing vessel from England. The ship sank in only 12 minutes, claiming the lives of 226 passengers. It was the worst disaster in naval history until the sinking of the HMS Titanic 40 years later. The next day, he received a telegraph from Anna from Wales. It read these six words, Survived alone, what should I do? The Spafford's four daughters were among those who perished. After hearing the terrible news, Horatio boarded the next ship out of New York to join his bereaved wife. During his voyage, the captain of the ship called him to the bridge. A careful reckoning has been made, he said, and I believe we are now passing the very place where the Ville du Havre sank. And it was there while staring into the watery grave of his beloved daughters, that Horatio penned the words to the great hymn, It is well with my soul.
fish like a river attendeth my way when sorrow like sea pillows roll Wonderful Jesus. 
Jesus, my Lord. He's the great shepherd. He's the great shepherd, the rock of all ages. Almighty God is He. Bow down before Him, love and adore Him. His name is wonderful. salvation purchase of God born of his spirit washed in his blood this is my story this is my song praising my Savior all the day long this is my story this is my song praising my Savior all the day long person submission perfect delight visions of rapture now burst on my sight angels descending a ring from above echoes in mercy whispers of love and this is my story this is my song
invite the guys for our quartet to come on up. We, uh, we wanted to do a quartet song, or I did anyway, and I appreciate these guys uh, singing along with me. This is um, a, an old cathedral's quartet song going back about 20 years, I guess. But whenever Jesus was coming into Jerusalem on the donkey and the, the, um, all of his followers were there, they were laying down the palm leaves and their coats and singing, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And they were shouting this. And it says there in Luke, one of the Pharisees comes up and he says, Jesus, tell your followers to be quiet. And he said, if I do that, even the rocks will cry out. So this is called, The Rocks Shall Not Cry Out. Help us out a little bit. Keep up with that old southern gospel sound. So we're going to sing the next one. It's going to be I'll Fly Away. Let's put our hands together. Here we go.
shall rise and the glory of his resurrection share when his chosen ones shall gather to their home beyond the sky and the roll is called up yonder i'll be there oh when the roll is called up yonder 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 i'll be there last verse let us labor for the master till the sun is setting sun. Let us talk of all his wondrous love and care. Then when all of life is over and our work on earth is done, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. Oh, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder. When the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing his mercy and his grace in the mansions bright and blessed he'll prepare for us a place and when we all get to heaven what a day of rejoicing that will be when we all when traveling days are over not a shadow not a sigh is when we all get to heaven what a day of rejoicing that will be when we all see jesus we'll sing and shout the victory let us then Just one glimpse of Him in glory Will the toils of life repay And when we all get to heaven What a day of rejoicing that will be When we all see Jesus We'll sing and shout the victory And this is my favorite verse of the song Onward to before us soon his beauty will behold soon the pearly gates will open and we shall tread on streets of gold when we all get to heaven what a day of rejoicing that will be when we all see jesus will sing and shout the victory I was sinking deep in sin far from the peaceful shore very deeply stained within sinking to rise no more but the master of the sea heard my despairing cry from the waters lifted me now safe am i cause love lifted me love lifted me when nothing else could help love Love lifted me, love lifted me.
lifted me when nothing else could help love lifted me and all my heart to him I give ever to him I'll cling in his blessed presence live ever his praises sing love so mighty and so true merits my soul's best songs faithful love and service to to him belongs love lifted me love lifted me when nothing else could help love lifted me love lifted me love lifted me when nothing else could help love lifted me souls in danger look above jesus completely saves he will lift you by his love out of the angry waves he's the master of the sea builds his will obey he your savior wants to be be saved today and love lifted me love lifted me when nothing else could help love lifted me Of mercy, I hear his voice of cheer and joy. 
just the time I need him. He's always near. He lives, he lives. Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives. Salvation to Lift up your voice and sing eternal hallelujahs to Jesus Christ the King, the hope of all who seek Him, the help of all who find. None other is so loving, so good and kind. He lives, He lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He Plunged me to victory. 
How's your throat, Carlos? <laughs> that was a lot of singing, a lot of extra verses we got in there. I hope you enjoyed uh, just singing those old hymns today. I want to uh, ask you to join me in thanking Carlos and Kim and Jenny and uh, Tim and Dean and uh, Christina for uh, helping out today. They did a marvelous job, and I appreciate all the work to prepare. And let's give a hand to our crew in the back, our sound techs and video. Thank you for watching online as well. Let's have a word of prayer and we'll be dismissed, okay? Father, we thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy in our lives. And thank you for the great hymns of our faith uh, that we can uh, just bring back to mind no matter where we are and just sing with joy in our hearts uh, to you. We lift you high tonight. We exalt the name of Jesus. And Lord, we look forward to the day when we will uh, step foot into your eternal kingdom and enjoy all the wonders that await us. Thank you for those who've come out tonight. Thank you for those watching at home. I pray your blessings on each one. In Jesus